Alright, so here's the tale of the time I went to Sonic uh, during high school for lunch, and some dude tried to sell me cologne. Just, just hang on there with me. It's not as boring as it sounds. So when I was in high school, you could actually leave for lunch if you were a senior. I mean, like, physically drive and leave campus. And I remember hearing this as a freshman, and it blew my mind. I mean, when I was a sophomore, juniors could leave, but, like, I'm not still mad at that. It's not like they changed that for my grade, no. <laughs> Anyways, there was a Sonic near my high school, and uh, I really like Sonic Grilled Cheeses, okay? What can I say? I mean, it's only like a dollar fifty. so yeah, what else am I supposed to get? Arby's? No, no thank you. Unless you want like a human skin burger. Yeah, no, that really happened. Uh, look it up. So I pull up to Sonic, and uh, for some reason I went in to eat instead of like eating outside in the car. Like the whole point of a Sonic is the convenience of, of sitting in your car and they bring you the food on the rollerblades. <laughs> So I don't know what I was doing going inside, but I did. So after I ate my grilled cheese, you know, had probably a Dr. Pepper or something with it. I don't know. It was years ago. Um, I'm walking back to my car and these three people get out. Um, so there was a woman and these two dudes with her. And she goes in uh, to the store, I'm assuming, to get something to eat. So these two guys were just standing there at their car. So one of the guys flags me over. And he's like, hey, come over here or something like that. I don't remember. Um, and I had to walk past him to get to my car. So, like, what was I going to do? Not go over and at least mention, like, just completely ignore them? I felt like that was rude. Yes. Just go. It's not worth it. Well, I didn't want to be rude. So, uh, anyways, when I walk over there, the guy asked me if I wanted to buy some cologne. And at this point, my brain was, uh, like, well, no, no. This isn't sketchy. Not sketchy at all. Just a dude and his friend trying to sell cologne to a kid in a parking lot of a Sonic. All right, don't die. Good luck. It didn't put me at any ease either that I was like the only person in the parking lot with these guys. Like I didn't think they were actually going to do anything, but it was still sketchy. So the first guy is just going on about how great the cologne smells and all the things it'll do. I mean, he's talking about it'll change my life. And in the meantime, all I can think about is like, I don't really want your cologne, dude. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to buy it. So after he's done talking about all the great things this can do, I mean, immortality, I, I don't know, everything. Uh, he goes on to tell me it's 30 bucks. So in my head, I'm thinking, not only is this guy trying to sell cologne to some kid in a parking lot, he's trying to sell it for $30. No, this guy's definitely crazy. There's no way I'm buying this dude's cologne. So at this point, he walks over and he's like, hey, let me give you a sample. And I'm like, nah, nah, man, I, I got to get back to school. I'm almost late for my next class. And I mean, this was true, by the way. I had class I had to get to. So he's just talking about how it's such a good deal, and he's like, no, it won't take long, don't worry about it. So he walks over to me, and he's asking if I want a sample, and he points the cologne at me, and I'm like, no, no, I'm, I'm good, I gotta get to class. So he keeps pushing me, finally I just tell him I'm allergic to a lot of stuff, so what are you gonna do? I can't really try it. I mean, that was a total lie. So eventually he agrees just to spray some of the cologne in the air, because I guess he really wanted me to try it, but... So he's spraying this stuff in the air, and when I did get a whiff of that, Wow, it was so bad. Like, it's hard to put into words how bad this stuff was. I'm not trying to go back to school smelling like a porta john that's been sitting out for three weeks. In direct sunlight. In summer. In the nether. So he's got a, got a big smile on his face and he's like, pretty good, right? I'm like, yeah, man, it's okay. Yeah. No, it's not. It's not okay. All right, so it was pretty clear this guy was just trying to sell me either whatever he had in his car. I, I'm not really sure what, what his plan here was. I mean, I'm no cologne connoisseur, but I don't think anybody would pay $30 for this stuff. Um, I mean, like, it's hard to do justice with just how bad it smelled. It wasn't like a rotting smell. It was just something trying to smell good, but smelling bad. The, the, the main reason I think that he was just trying to sell whatever was in his car was because, like, it wasn't even full. It was, it was like, half full. And it's not, like, half full, like, the Lay's bag of chips where they only put, like, half in on purpose. Like, this looked like it had been used. So at this point, I just tell him, I'm like, hey, man, I don't have any cash on me. So that was also true because I normally I pay with a card. I don't know what this guy was thinking. He must have thought he really got me because he was like, but you just ate. So you have money on you. And I was like, uh, no, I use my card. I, I just said that. I just told him that I used my debit card, right? We did just say that, right? Yeah, y yep, we did. Uh, so good luck. Gets to the point where I've been talking to this dude for a little bit, and I'm, I'm sick of it. Like, he's, he keeps going on about how I should get it, and I do not. I'm not having it, okay? I had to get back to class, so I just started walking away. Um, and I just got in the car and drove away. Never turned back. So...
Also, yeah, so thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, uh, like, subscribe, all that. I also want to mention that this was, uh, I wrote this script back like a year ago. So keep that in mind, I guess. If it's bad, blame past me. I, I don't know.